And my darling husband. Oh, no, I don't know how he fell out of the window. It doesn't matter because I killed him. I should have signed the papers and I didn't give you consent. What? Sit down. Listen to me. No, no, there's nothing you can say now because my Ben is gone. Vicky, he's not gone. <laughs> ben is still alive. Oh, what? God. I told you. Yeah. Oh, but I, I thought you said that. Oh, no. It was a one shot in a million, but we were able to reduce the swelling brain chemically without surgery. Oh. What's his condition now? Well, it's still serious. He's still in a coma, but believe me, that's good news. Oh, you're damn straight. That's good news. Thank you, Larry. Thank you so much. See, Mom, your faith and love is more supportive than you thought. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, but I still think it's a good idea to sign those papers, just in case his condition gets worse. I totally agree. Totally agree. Yes, I thank, thank you. I'll, I'll, I'll do that later. Yeah. And even though he's unconscious, I thought you might like to see him. Oh. Oh, yes. That's exactly where I need to be now. Excuse me. Message. I did it because it was garbage. Why? Because they would have thought that, that you had it in for your stepdad and that you were trying to get rid of him. Yeah, but what if I was? You weren't. You don't know that, Christian. I don't even know that. Natalie, listen to me. Look, I know you, okay? And no matter what kind of crazy stuff has been happening there's no way i will ever believe that you have this multiple personality disorder and that if you did that one of these personalities or other would, would be trying to kill someone i mean come on do you hear how ridiculous that sounds you're just saying that to make me feel better no i'm not you didn't do anything okay and even the commissioner said all those questions those those were just routine questions he did say that he thought somebody was after ben yeah but people don't just fall out of the window christian all right, fine. Say, say it. it wasn't an accident. There's still no way that you had anything to do with that. Oh, really? Well, what about all the stuff that I've done to Jessica? And to you, and to Jen, and to Seth? I mean, is it that hard to believe that I could do something like this, too? Natalie, going after someone's money and trying to win your old boyfriend back is a little different than pushing someone through a window. I know you had nothing to do with this. How? I just do. Larry, could you be straight with me, please? Sure. I mean, touch and go is fine for Jessica, but I can handle the truth. What are Ben's odds of surviving this? Oh, I'd say about 50-50. Uh, if he doesn't come out of this coma soon. Oh, yeah, I see. I'm sorry, I wish No, no, that's my... quite all right. It's okay. I... I think I'd like to go in and see him now for me. Yeah, sure. Thanks. I'm gonna... Pam, I'd like uh, Mrs. Davidson to have a few moments alone with her husband, please. Certainly, Doctor. Yeah. I'm really sorry about this, but 50-50 just ain't what it used to be, okay? Unfortunately for you, I gotta have like 100% guarantee that you ain't gonna wake up and condemn me by telling them all that I'm the one that shoved you out the window. Christian, wait a minute. What? Did you remember something? No. Um, I wanted to thank you. For what? Are you kidding? If you hadn't have been here, I, I don't know what I would have done. You would have been just fine, Natalie. <laughs> I don't know. Look, um, I, I want to go up to the hospital to see Ben. Okay, um, I'll drive you. Can I take a look at that report? Found on his back. It's quite some distance from the uh, side of the house. Force of impact. This was no accident. Somebody pushed Ben out of that window with considerable force. If 
I go pulling the plug on one of these machines, and some dumb alarm is going to go off, and some dumb idiot's going to come in here and try and save you, and we definitely don't want that, do we? <laughs> cool. Hey, that was good enough for that teed-off pyromaniac Tory to do Victor Lord in, wasn't it? And he wasn't half the guy that you are. <laughs> well, were. Okay. You. Wait, what do you mean? Well, I mean, maybe in the back of your head, you're kind of worried that he's with Natalie again. Are you sure? Natalie, I'm glad you're here. So what are you saying? Ben landed on his back. You see all the damage to that window up there? The trajectory of the fall, he landed quite some distance from the house. The scatter pattern of all this glass around here covers quite a wide area. I don't think Ben stumbled. So you think someone gave him a good shot, huh? That's the theory that we're working with right now, and that makes this a criminal investigation. I think it's time we bring the DA in on this, okay? Call Hank Gannon's office, uh, bring him up to speed on everything that happened, and tell him that I asked him for him to come down here. Yes, sir. So, now that this is uh, looking like attempted murder, or worse, if Ben doesn't pull through, then is there anything that uh, you would like to add to what you've already told me? Natalie? Thanks for staying with me this whole time. It's no big deal. Yes, it is a very big deal. You can take off at any time. I'm fine. I'll stay. You hardly know Ben. I know you. I mean, you're my sister. Well, yeah, and you only just met me. <laughs> Look, I have to be here, Rex, for my mom, you know? Yeah, and someone has to be here for you. I'll stay if it's okay with you. Of course it's okay. Thank you. You like Dr. Davidson a lot, huh? He's great. He's made my mom so happy. I mean, he's been with her through a lot of rough times, you know, and he's, he's incredible. I mean, he's almost like a real dad to me. I never even knew my father. Just, I really hope Dr. Davidson recovers from the accident. No, it wasn't an accident. Well, you still think Natalie pushed him? I thought you just said that because, you know, you were upset back at the house. Rex, think about it. There is no way that Ben could just fall through a window. No way. Uh, yep, yeah, but Natalie, wait, you don't really think she pushed him, do Natalie you? Natalie was the only one there. Other than Ben, Natalie was the only one in the room. Man, you are some hunk. You know what, Binge? I am really, really, really sorry that I have to do this. Except that you, you don't really give me a choice, do you? Because if you wake up, you're going to tell everybody I'm Nikki Smith. Not to mention that little matter of me trying to kill you. See, the only way I can be free is to do it right this time. Otherwise, they're going to put me away or, God forbid, bring back the boar, Victoria. So long, Benj. Anything to that life after death stuff, you got a real cushy spot reserved for you. Pretty told the commissioner everything you know. Well, if that's true, then she can tell me. Hey, partner. And that was fast. Hank, did the officer uh, fill you in on all the details? Yeah, you did. Christian? Natalie? We're just asking uh, Natalie here a few questions. Yeah, but I want to get her to the hospital so she can see her stepdad. Well, we heard Bo talking, so that's when we came out. <laughs> Natalie, I understand that you were in the house at the time of Ben's fall. Is there anything you can tell us about that? Um, look, I already told the commissioner everything that I remember. Well, I understand that, Natalie. But now you can tell me. Okay. Um... I was in 
Ben and Vicky. After. After Ben fell. Because you heard a noise. Right. Mm -hmm. What about earlier? Earlier? Mm-hmm. Someone saw you standing in the uh, window before Ben fell. Why were you in the room then? I wasn't. I told I was sleeping. So what you're saying is that the person who claims to have seen you is lying? Or mistaken. Are you sure? Don't you think I would remember if I was in there or not? Yes, Natalie, I do. Now, why are we asking her all these questions? Because I'm going to ask everybody questions. I'm going to keep asking them until I find out how Ben fell out of that window. All right, well, you can stop. Because I know who really pushed Dr. Davidson out the window. Vicky? was the one that threw Ben out the window. You went up to my mom's room after he fell, and she was still there. Yeah, she was, but, I mean, acting all confused. Natalie didn't even seem to know what she was doing on there. Rex, she knew exactly what she was doing. <sighs> okay, this whole thing has you upset. I get that. But look what you're saying. Natalie tried to kill her stepdad. Why would she do it? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, maybe... She got into a fight with him. Maybe he caught her stealing again. Stealing? Why would she steal anything? She's rich. Why does Natalie do anything she does? You know what? I don't know what goes on in her mind. Okay. Well, I do. And she wouldn't do anything like this. Natalie is one of the sharpest people I know. She always has been. Rex, smart people can do bad things. Not like this. I mean, back when we had problems at home, and that was a lot, Natalie could always figure a way out of them. She didn't have to get physical. The Natty I know just Rex, wouldn't... Rex, the Natty you know is a little girl. Okay, that's true, but I'm getting to know her all over again. Really? How well? Do you really know what the grown-up Natty is willing to do? I thought you got here after Ben fell. Yeah, yeah, right after. So are you saying you saw who pushed him? No, but it's obvious, isn't it? Are we all forgetting who Dr. Davison used to work for? I mean, come on, it was on all the papers. You know, when that lady, uh, what's her name, got killed? Yeah, Gina Russo. Right, her. So you're saying that you think the mob is behind this? Who else? I mean, he walked out on them, and supposedly they don't like when you do that. So they tracked them back here. They've done it before. All they had to do was make sure that no one was home. But someone was here. Natalie. Sleeping. Yeah, come on, how could they have known that? Hmm. Well, it's not out of the question. Are you kidding? He's the only answer that holds up. With all the friends that Dr. Davidson has in Landview, all the good things he's done, anybody but a hitman would be, would, be, would have to be crazy to want to kill him. Um, if you guys are, are done with me, I'd like to go see, see how Ben's doing. Sure, you can go. But I'll, uh, I'll be in touch. I'll have more questions for you, for both of you. <laughs>